I hereby banish you! Dragon, die! Stay focused. Victory is within our grasp. One step closer to my son.
Your defenses are weak. Yes, you are somewhat audible to me. The Whisper Ruby is not ideal for phantom-to-human communication over great distances. We have a problem, Lucian. I prefer challenge. A problem is a barrier. A challenge is surmountable. Save your motivational speeches for the Council. We have a problem. I just overheard two guards say there won't be another shipment of supplies for months. Months? Yes. We can't wait that long for a shipment to hijack. Edwin will be dead by then. Of course. This is an unfortunate development. But there's some good news. I have strong reason to believe Ivor's supplier is Lady Catherine Ashdown. She helped underwrite Ivor's proposal to turn Walking Castle into a prison. Once it opened, we locked up all her enemies. I believe she lives near here. I remember receiving envelopes from her, which I delivered to Ivor personally. I can pressure Catherine to stop her shipments, but that won't cause an immediate crisis in the castle. Leave that to me. In the best interests of Welkin, I must do the unthinkable. Which is... what exactly? The less I speak it out loud, the better. What is that old expression? The walls have ears. Do what you must.
This shield for those who cannot bear it.
Believe it. A flying whale. When I died, I saw the underworld. I know what awaits us after death. I watched flames rise and dance around souls. I heard shadows screaming. I felt my heart twist in agony. 
But this, this is something else. This is truly unbelievable. <laughs> Take your positions, everyone. It's a beautiful day for whale hunting.
Good job, everyone. There's free blubber if anyone wants some. Yeah. Yes, 
It's by the tail. The castle used to get its supplies via airship. Perhaps Catherine ran out of fuel, and this thing was the solution. As long as Catherine's alive, she'll do whatever it takes to supply the castle. My sword and shield have delivered me to victory! Welcome back. How goes it in the field? We just butchered a flying whale. <laughs> whale harpooning in the mountains. Did you stab at it from Hell's heart? <sighs> Have you been reading those fantasy novels? Reign of something? I can assure you, my head is firmly grounded in reality. I hope so. I believe the whale was Catherine's attempt at a stopgap airship. If we're right, she'll need a new flying machine to transport supplies here. Excellent work. Meanwhile, a revolt is inevitable. I spoiled much of the food supply. Wow. That's... You're fighting dirty. In hard times, people are more vulnerable to suggestion. We must strike now and with everything we have. Ivor has been hiding for weeks. Once the unrest grows loud enough, he will be forced to vacate the shadows. Then what? I am building an army of allies and spies who will help plot our exact course. So many lives are in the balance, Lucian. We can't afford any missteps. I'm leaving to deal with Catherine directly. Who knows what monsters are lurking in her estate. Godspeed, Rowena. May we permanently banish the Tyrant Warden Ivor from the world of the living. Keep it simple. Death to Ivor. Death to Ivor. Hmm, that has a nice ring to it. You're shivering. There's a blanket right there, in the corner of the cell. Don't you see it? Edwin, can you hear me? <sighs> I used to get so upset with you. I would bark at you to finish your dinner. But you'd run outside to chase the clouds, as if they were monsters in the sky. Then I'd say, take off your boots. You wouldn't. You ruined so many of my hand-woven carpets with your muddy boot prints. I begged and pleaded with you to listen. What a twisted world. Now I'm grateful you can't hear me. Otherwise, you'd be sick. And then you'd be... Uh... You've grown into a little man now haven't you? Once Ivor is gone, you'll be freed from this godforsaken place. I'm coming back for you, son. Promise me you'll stay strong? <sighs> stay strong. The stars have spoken. Of course, there are many possible futures, so many lives to explore. <laughs>